Shalom, today's Daf Yomi is Brachos Daf Chafchas, Brachos 28. And today's Daf Yomi, we continue the story that we were discussing yesterday on the bottom of 27b, and now we're going to turn on the top of 28a, where the Gemara has discussed that Rabbi Gamliel and Rabbi Yoshua were in a were in a dispute, and as a result of this, Rabbi Gamliel was disrespectful to Rabbi Yoshua, and, they, and therefore the academy rose up and deposed Rabbi Gamliel as being the Nasi, as being the president. But then they had a problem. Who are we going to put in his place? So they say, let us put it, Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah. Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah will be in his place. So Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah said to them when they came and they approached him, Asu v'amrlei, They said, can you become our, our Rosh Hashiva? He said to them, Let me go and I'll ask the people of my house. He went and he asked his wife. He went and he asked his wife. Amrlei, she said to him, his wife said to him, Dilma Ma'avrin Loch, maybe they're gonna get rid of you. In the end, that's what happened, that they that they didn't keep Rebbe Lezer ben Azariah the entire time. They gave him one week a month and they put Rebbe Gamliel back. So his wife was correct. But he said to her, let a person use a precious cup one day, with bar, even though it's going to break the next day. So she said, I'm relay. She said to him, Nobody's going to respect you because you don't have any white hair. And so therefore, the, the Nasi should really be an elderly person. So that night, a miracle happened. Ahu Yoma, that night, Bar Tam Nisrei Shanei Havi. That night, he was, he turned 18 years old, and Israchash Le Nisa V'Adrele Tam Nisrei Darech Yurasa. And a miracle happened, and he grew 18 rows of white hair. V'Hainu Dekama Rebbe Lezer Ben Azariah, and that's why it says about Rebbe Lezer Ben Azariah, that's why Rebbe Lezer Ben Azariah said, and we learned this in the Mishnah on 12b, and it became well known through the Haggadah, that's why Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah said, Behold, I am like 70 years old. It wasn't that he was exactly 70. He didn't say, I am 70. He said, I am like 70. And the reason why he said he was like 70 was because he grew the white hair. So he looked old, he looked older than he actually was. So before we go on, we have to we want to explore the question, why did he go and he asked his wife? He says, let me go and ask my wife. This was a, a Talmudic scholar. He had he was worthy to be the Nasi. Why was it necessary for him to go home and ask his wife? So the Yaros Devash explains that the reason is based upon the fact that it says in Suvos that and then a Talmud, a, a Talmud Chacham, a general Torah scholar, is, supposed, is obligated to be with their wife physically w- once a week, uh, and from Friday night to Friday night, meaning once a week. However, the Nasi has more communal responsibilities. So the, the Nasi is supposed to be with his wife either once a month only. And so therefore, we see from here that this was going to be an effect upon not only upon him, but it was also going to affect his wife, that his wife wasn't going to have as much uh, attention with him as she otherwise would have been entitled to. And so therefore, since there was going to be this this impact, he was going to, he had to ask her permission. We see similar, Moshe Rabbeinu had taken his tent away from his wife, and he moved his tent away. And so therefore, when somebody becomes the leader of Kal Yisrael, there's, there's more communal responsibilities and less responsibilities to their wife. Another explanation was uh, the Chidushe Rabbeinu Yon, Rabbe, Rabbi Yonasan, who writes that the reason is that he noticed that Rabbi Lezer Ben Azariah noticed that Rabbi Lezer was removed because he acted with arrogance. And so therefore... He, he suspected maybe I'm going to be this type of person who's arrogant also. And since a person doesn't really know himself as well as somebody else knows him, he wanted to ask his wife, am I arrogant like Rabbi Gamliel is? And so therefore maybe they'll remove me too. And so, the, so his wife responded. He had to go home and ask his wife if, she, if, he was, if he was arrogant. And his wife said, no, that's not your problem. We have other problems. And so then the, the, another explanation is from the Ayelot Ahavim. And he explains that what, one of the reasons reasons is because that a Nasi is required to be, it, we said that Rabbi Lezer ben Azari was selected because he was wealthy. Why is he required to be wealthy? Is because he's supposed to 
uses some of his own money for the purposes of the community. And so therefore, so that that we there was this concern that maybe he was going to take some of his wife's money or some of the family's money. And so he went and he has permission from his wife if he was able to to commit to this communal responsibility. The Ein Elio explains that Rebbe Lezer ben Azariah was concerned that maybe the next day they're going to remove him from the Nisiu. It's just like they removed Rebbe Gamliel. But however, uh, he he didn't care about his own um, status because he was a humble person. However, he was worried that maybe his wife was going to be affected by this. His wife was going to be embarrassed. It wasn't fair to her. It was one thing for him to be giving up in his own honor, but the fact that his wife was also going to be asked to make this sacrifice of her dignity and her honor, and that he was something he was very concerned about. And then on, another explanation from the Muka Yosef says, no, this is the basic point is every time the person does a, a decision of importance, the person is supposed to consult with their wife. That that is that is a proper thing to do. And so that is just a very simple answer. So we see the Rebbe Lazar ben Azariah was, was brought in. And from the day that they brought him in, the Gemara says the whole base medrash changed because Rebbe Gamil's approach was very strict. And he said he had only allowed people into the base medrash if they were toho kaboro. Very few people could be in. Only somebody whose inside was like their outside. But Rebbe, Gam- but Rebbe Lazar ben Azariah, the, that day they had to add 400 benches to the, to the base medrash. And so one person person said 700 benches because the whole nature changed. They became much more permissive. They allowed more and more people to enter in. And it was a revolution that was brought into the base medrash on that day that Rebbe Lezer ben Azariah was appointed as the Nasi.